Oh, here. <laughs> this is how I'm going to start the episode. Okay. You're listening to The Word on the Streets with Joe Bingham, Jason Tasker, and Raj Pujada. Yeah! It's Christmas, baby! Merry Christmas. <laughs> Send the Indian to the white man. Woo! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, it's actually... Thanksgiving all over again, isn't it? Weirdly enough, this is actually uh, a year since we started, pretty much, isn't it? Pretty much. Because our first episode was a Christmas special. And like, look how far we've came. Imagine eyes were like this. That'd be fucked up, wouldn't it? What, like that guy from... Um... Guinness Book of Records. Or the guy can pull out his eyes. Yeah. What a what a shit talent. Nah, yeah, everyone knows who he is now. Nah, I wouldn't recognise him if he walked down the street unless he was doing the eye thing. But... Yeah, but like, do you reckon sometimes when he's angry, he just pulls him out like to bank tellers and stuff like that could be his ID. Be like, look, I'm definitely this guy. What is ID? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought <laughs> he was going. That's what I thought he was going for. Yeah. These well, look I'm these really... look quite nice. These look quite classic. But yeah, this is a this is a milestone essentially. We've yeah. Johnny, look how far we've came in a year. Should we pull a cracker? <laughs> pull a cracker like it's liquid, bruv. We've got, we've got. Like I, it's I, Oceana. I, I've, what, what, what has can changed? Tell, yeah, I feel like I can it. tell. Like, this, pull this. This is going to come to my end. I can what? just tell. Yeah, but you're holding it funny. You got to hold it from the. From where? Yeah, like no, right there. Just like on the tight bit of the. Yeah, one, two, three. So what has changed since the last Christmas episode we did? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, let me look at my notepad. <laughs> He's got a new manifestation. Yeah, though. yeah. Kill I'll, yourself. I'll out. <laughs> yeah, baby. You smashed it. Right, are we putting the hats nice on? Well, yeah, I'll just, I'll just do this one then, yeah. It says on it, notes. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'll just do this one then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm winning everything. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! For fuck's sake. Oh, what a fucking animal. I've got... <laughs> no, do it with me. I'll with put him. this on. <laughs> yeah, hey, I hope you win. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Sorry. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's not made for my head. You can have that one. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, do you know what? Uh, why don't you take two of these? Yeah. There you go, Treacle. We have some gifts. This is it. This is, this is, this is how the world works. Typical. You're welcome. Indian man spirit. works his whole life. And then just gives it to the white man. Green or red? I feel like green's better. I'll go for um, yellow. What the fuck is this? Tweezers. Is that a gift? It's a... Oh, sick. I got a yo yo. I need those actually yeah, for my they're eyebrows. Shit. They're shit. They're shit. I did... Let me do it for you. Uh, oh, 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 this is trust, boy. No, you didn't get it. You need to. Yeah, because no, it doesn't get any tighter. This yo-yo hasn't even got a fucking no, nut in it yet. Oh, they're not. Yeah, you no. have fun with that. Okay. These, oh these, these What's this? Are... Oh, it's like one of them... Uh... Oh, them puzzles. So what, you got to get the ring out? Yeah. There's charades in mine as well. Do you want this? What's that? It's like a spring. No, it's not. It's another game. It's a key ring, isn't it? It's like no, it's a, a spring. Oh, I thought it was a key ring. No. <laughs> it's a key ring. It's not. It's a game. You have to get the key ring off it. Oh, I thought it was just... Oh. What's that one? It's, that's another puzzle. Oh, is it? I don't like puzzles. I can't do this. Do you like puzzles? I don't nah. mind puzzles. I just find them anything like... Do you know when you ever have a logical games yeah, that you have to play? It's just... Oh, God. No, nah, no thanks. What's wrong with that? It's just annoying, isn't it? I'm just trying to set up me yo-yo. Where's... Choking hazard. That's what I say to all the girls. Small parts, not oh, suitable. Yeah. <laughs> Small parts, not suitable for children under three years old. That's what he says to all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Finally, fuck this. The king has been crowned. Did you hear that? It's Charles and Catherine that were the racist ones. Oh, this doesn't fit my head. I've ripped it. Which one's Catherine? Catherine's William's wife. Okay. Yeah. They're the ones that were racist. I heard about the Charles thing. That's mad though, isn't it? That it was that book in Holland. And uh, like no other country's translation had that issue. So like, it wasn't even like a publishing issue. It was just somebody just stuck the names in. How did I only get one question? Yeah, there's two. I don't know, maybe you missed one. I've got oh, one. Man. Oh, Joe's probably got one. I've got one. Right. 
What do you call a snowman in the summer? Can I just clarify what about it? You're a comedian. And you you said, well, I've only got one question. And read out a joke. Can you? Can anyone figure out how to set up my yo-yo? Yeah, possibly. I just need the nut on top of it. Right, you do your... Joke. Can you remember the yo- what yo-yos did you have at school? Did I was got banned. Did you have the pro yo Nah, I was got... But we had a geezer come in and sh- it was like a pro yo-yo man doing tricks and that. <laughs> So then How we all, old was he? Was he like middle aged? Yeah, like, I think he's so. Definitely a pedo. Yeah, but then we got banned from having them in school because we just used to get the sticks and just fucking hit each other. Was it a thing at your school where the best ones had the ball bearings in, and then whoever had the most most ball bearings in the yo yo, because that means it would spin at the bottom for the most time. I don't know because it was like more weighted. I don't know. We had like we uh, we got banned from that. We got banned from um, Beyblades. Got banned from our school as well. We are Pokemon that. cards because people were nicking them. Is this a magic trick? Oh, I've got magic. I've got a magic trick. I got the best. It's got the best gifts. Yeah. You didn't win anything. Yeah, but you know. What? Okay, I'm gonna learn how to do this magic trick and see if I can dazzle you. Right. David Blaine. Okay. Uh, ah. Jason, do your do your joke, mate. Uh, what kind of paper likes music? kind of paper likes music wrapping paper oh genius so I'll probably put that in my uh, put that in your set probably never seen anyone wear a hat with a hat before yeah I need a haircut yeah yeah Whoa, yeah. yeah did you come to my school bro why don't you just put it around your finger and can you do the cra- is it the cradle no, nah, walking the dog was the one. Walking the do dog, him. yeah. Not the cradle is the one where you do it in the triangle and then yeah, you make it, it swing in the middle. Uh, what um, what do you call a snowman in the summer? Melting. No. Joseph. What? What do you call a snowman in the summer? Yeah. Yeah. Smashed it. I really want to learn how you do this magic trick, but it's quite wordy. All right. Learn it then. We'll we'll carry on doing jokes. Right. What did one snowman say to the other? Uh, I don't know. Smells like carrots. Can you smell carrots? Yeah. You've done this. Do you, you, you have you have so many Christmases. You know what I mean. You, yeah, you, you, you get to know. Get crackers. Okay. Uh, what does the acronym SCUBA S C U B A stand for? Um, oh, scuba's an uh, scuba's an acronym. Yeah, and I know. Who the fuck knew that? I know. Did the, you know that? Scuba. Yeah, it's an acronym. I don't know what the first two letters mean, but I know what the last three mean. Self-contained. Underwater breathing apparatus. Mad. This guy is a fucking genius. Is it? All right. Next one I've got is charade. So I forgot how to do this. Uh, so it's. Sounds song? like no. How do you do song? I don't know. Just, like... Just say song. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song, um, and and I just have to act it out, do I? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh... Here. 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 Sounds like dick. Dick. Balls. Balls. Jingle bells. Penis. Jingle penis. Crotch. Cock. Okay. Oh, jingle bell rock? No. Cock. Sounds like... Yeah. Rock. Alright, you lot are fucking infuriating me. There's four words. First one's rock. You know what? Just dawned on me as well for people who listen. Rock rather around than watch the charades is going to be incredible <laughs> content. So is my magic trick, actually. So you're just going to be you going, cock. Cock. There's just some rustling in the background. How the fuck am I supposed to. Um, how do I do this? Uh. Rock, rock around the clock. Yeah. Yeah, I said Smashed that. It. No, Good tune, to be yes, fair. Yes, I did. I said it like. Rock. No, I said rock around the clock. It's the one off at Home Alone, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> You've seen Home Alone, haven't you? I always thought it was rock around the Christmas tree. Oh, it might be that. It might yeah. be rock. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? But I think the song's probably called Rock Around the Clock. 
Rock around that one. Maybe the no, rock around the clock. Oh, what am yeah. I singing? Rock around the Christmas tree. I don't know. Rocking around yeah, the rocking Christmas around. tree. Yeah, rocking around. I don't know how to do this this magic trick. Uh, okay. Question: Which Christmas item takes its name from the old French word? Enticil. What? Meaning spark. What was it? What? Which Christmas item takes its name from the old French word etincil? Tinsel. Tinsel. Yes. <laughs> Fluent, mate. It was because of my sexy French accent. Yeah, That's it why was, you got that. It was. That magic trick's really complicated. Nah, it can't be. I've got. Uh, should I do it's my. For sh- kids, you prick. Should I do my charade? <laughs> it's for kids. Do you want to have a go at it? Yeah, go on. You're going to have to do it to him, though, because obviously I've seen it now. So oh, right. you look at me, don't look at him, because you might see the magic. Uh, why was the snowman looking through the carrots? So he could see better. For vitamin E. <laughs> so he could see in the dark. He was picking his nose. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, charade. Um, it's that one. Book, yeah, also a film. Mm. Um, four words, yeah. So it's a film with four words, sorry, yeah, right. First, first, fourth word, yeah. Um, this is Joe doing this. Wind, wind, don't guess. I'm not guessing, I'm thinking. First word. You leave. Go. Go. Gone with the Is wind. Gone with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, I was literally <laughs> going to say that. You told me not to yeah, say it. Yeah, because I wanted him to give us more clues. You'd be that guy in a fucking wheel what, of fortune. What, they just get things right? Bankrupt. <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> going to say gone with the wind. I thought it would have been a Christmas film though, so that's a bit random. It is a Christmas film. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, What's the one with the, with the kid where he flies in the sky? The snowman. Yeah, that's pretty With dark. Alan, right, Alan isn't it? Jones. Yeah, it's quite bleak. The snowman. Do you remember Jack Frost? Yeah, that was a bleak Christmas film. You ever see Jack Frost? So it's a geezer, and like he's never at, he's never at home for Christmas, and it. He's always like always working. Classic Christmas film thing, and he's driving home for Christmas one year. Um, literally, with driving home for Christmas playing in the car, and then because of the ice on the road. He goes flying off the road and crashes his car into a ditch and dies. Um, so he's dead, not going over Christmas, and he uh, comes back as a magical uh, snowman called Jack Frost. So his kids get to spend Christmas with him as a snowman, and then he melts. Oh, wow. That's fucking depressing. <laughs> and he melts. Good film, though. I had it on video when I was a kid. Uh, for anyone listening, that's Joe trying to... Joe, Joe's yo-yo. Use a you ready yo-yo. for magic trick? Got them. Have you figured it out? Look. You got, you got a king, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'm gonna close it. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a little. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, a bit of razzle it's dazzle. Oh, that's pretty good, that. Yeah. Impressed. I gave up on the instructions. Yeah, that's not how you're supposed to do it. That's what was pissing me off. <laughs> I mean, it fooled me. Was it a sleight of hand? Did you see what I did? No, what do you do? Was it four cards? Oh, is it double sided? Yeah. yeah. Oh. These are all double sided. So all I did was spin it. Oh, okay. Did you see a uh, dynamo on Sky Sports? Yeah. Turn the, turn the paper on fire and it turned into ice because of the camera angle. You can just see the ice in his hand as the paper's. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. I tried to watch it in slow motion, but I couldn't um, I couldn't rewind it for some reason. I've seen Dynamo twice. I've seen Just him. out and about. He was at a Drake, oh, I've seen his actual performance. He was at a Drake gig when I was 16 and he was doing magic cards for people in the crowd, like, like magic tricks with cards in the crowd. Then I saw him at All Points East a few, a few years ago. Is he not well still, or is he alright now? He's got Crohn's, and it, or something pretty bad. He's got some yes. sort of debilitating on us. Yeah, What's he's... that puzzle? You just unwind you got to get the, the thing off the spring? The spring, yeah. It takes longer to wind this fucking yo-yo up than it does to use it, because I'm not very good with it. But this is quite therapeutic, if I was a cat. I'm going to have one more go. What's your favourite Christmas film? Jack Frost. <laughs> I like seeing the kid cry at the end. Um... Probably between like Home Alone and Die Hard. Yeah, Probably Die, die Hard, I think. 
I watched Die Hard last Christmas. Oh, well, well, well go on. Stop aiming it at me, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know what? If it is the telly. What other Christmas films are there? Love Actually. <laughs> was it sick yeah, was it sick you fucking yeah, look like a magician to be fair <laughs> <laughs> you literally look like a fucking magician it was too bouncy so it, it, it went back up too fast I was remember too good at the yo yo remember you used to fling it up and catch it like that yeah, yeah. yeah. in, uh, in uh, away from I'm trying to describe it for the listeners but just subscribe on YouTube you fucking yeah. peasants yes yeah, so what other what <laughs> <laughs> We, oh, don't, yeah. we, don't, we don't even put ads on Season's them. Season's greetings. Oh, yeah, true. They're actually paying for yeah, Spotify. We don't even put ads on them, man. Get on board. Um, what other Christmas films are there? I've gone blank. It's missed out. I don't, like, I don't like Love Actually. I mean, what about The Holiday? Uh, I've never seen it. That's worth a watch. See, I don't like Love Actually because I don't like how Rick from The Walking Dead snakes his boy. I just think that's shit. You know, his boy who gets married to Kieran Knightley yeah, and then he turns yeah, up. Nah, that's not a dickhead that. move. Yeah, yeah. That's a Snake dickhead move. I don't think I've seen that film. It's shit, man. Nah, you know what? It's not bad, actually. It's just that one scene that I'm not a fan of, to be honest. What Elf? else is a Christmas film? Elf's not bad. I feel I feel like it's just been a bit played out now, isn't it? You know what I mean? Um, What other ones? Home Alone. Home Alone's the elite. Home Alone's though. good. Yeah, that's the e. best e. Christmas film. E.T. used to be my favourite. Is E.T. a Christmas film? I don't know. Was it my You're just world? obsessed with E.T. <laughs> <laughs> Like a special Christmas when you're really allowed Seriously, to watch Seriously, when we got to Universal, it was like, we're in the E.T. car park. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> it was, though, it was Christmas Yeah, it was tradition. a good day. It he went back. Day. That's how much he liked the E.T. That is what true. about Polar he, Express? He went back. I've never seen it. Never seen what? Polar Express. Oh, uh, yeah, but all the characters are weird, and it? It's like that yeah. Uncanny Valley thing. <laughs> you seen that Uncanny Valley? Yeah, no. you never, you never seen this? So it's like this Japanese scientist, and he created the term in the 80s, I think. And it was a term that was used for anything that's not human, but is made to look human. He's fucking done it. Yeah, you just unwound it. Oh, is that what you're meant to do? Well, I'm guessing so. I've unwound something from a spring before. Oh. But, um... <laughs> I'm sorry, I that wasn't, up like that I... wasn't. That wasn't in the Christmas spirit, my bad. Yeah, but I, un... I jumped up like I just cured Corona, bro. <laughs> yeah. But, mate, Uncanny oh, Valley no, is... is uh, yeah, it's basically, if something's designed to look human... But it just looks slightly off. So it it like I think it's psychologically it creates a really unsettling feeling in humans to see something that's meant to look human but doesn't look quite right. Uh, and this guy turned like the, the phrase. Man. No, like oh. like like wax figures or like robots and stuff. I like know that. what you mean. Yeah, yeah, like it makes you feel a little bit weird. Yeah, there was there was a woman off some reality show the other day that did like a makeup video on. TikTok and everybody was just commenting uncanny valley on the video, which was quite quite mean. But um yeah, that's the, apparently the Polar Express is big for that as well. Triggers a lot of people because the animation's a bit it's weird. It's a bit weird, yeah. What about Jingle All the Way? That's that is that is hands down to my favourite. That yeah, I'm not a pervert. <laughs> I just want to find a Turboman doll. <laughs> it's my favourite Christmas film, hands down, yeah. Put the cookie down <laughs> now. What about the the like the old Tim Tim Allen ones? Oh, like, like fucking, Father um, yeah. Five Christmas Santa. ain't bad. Miracle on, is it Miracle, Miracle on 34, 34, 34 That's Street? That's pretty sad. It's not a bad That's, film, no. It's, it's not a, a bad nice film. film. It's a nice film. That last time that, that Tim Allen one came out, I was in LA uh, during Christmas and it was fucking sick. As a kid, it's nuts. America do Christmas and Halloween proper though, isn't it? And stuff yeah, like, like there's streets, right? There's streets out there that will like, they've got like a joint agenda. They have parades to everywhere as well. Their house, so everyone goes all out on their house, and then people come from far and wide to see it. And one house fucking had the Power Rangers on the front, didn't they? Yeah. I was in my full Power Rangers Do... tracksuit, bro. Yeah. What? What one? Just. I'll send you a picture. What Power can. Ranger? No, all of them. It was all of them. Oh, I thought you just meant like one one of the costumes. No, no, no. I had like a hoodie and a. Tracksuit I think Red Power Ranger was my favourite. Yeah, I think he was like most of people. Well, I need a one that turned into a, a bear or a, no, a something. Green, around. green was green was. I thought red was like the main one. Was he not the one that like? Wasn't used it to white beat? and black was the main one? No, I don't think so. They were racist though, innit? Like the black ranger was black, the, the white ye- ranger was white. The yellow one Chinese was Asian. Was Chinese, uh, oh, yeah, yellow. No. Yeah, yeah, serious. So I yeah, don't yeah. See, you don't, don't see, see colour. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there a story? I don't know how true this is that Simon Cowell when he first made all his money in music the first time around and then he lost it all 
like completely went bankrupt, and then he made it all back by making the theme song for Power Rangers. Oh really? Yeah, I'm sure I saw that somewhere. Mighty Morphin Rangers. Is <laughs> <laughs> that how it went? Yeah, I just did it shit for copyright reasons. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, 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 you don't want to get it flagged on YouTube. <laughs> Is that not it? Mighty Morphin Rangers. Uh, I was I was about to sing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers to the tune of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I'm yeah, guessing I'm guessing that, you're no, right. You went, go go Power Rangers. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah And it had like all of them in school, like walking down. Yeah, but apparently he had, he had something to do with it. I don't know what, but yeah. I apparently. don't think I could keep that a secret, you know. If I was a Power Ranger in school, I'd be getting all the puss, bro. I always think this is about Spider Man, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You're at school and you're about to go, I'm a Power Ranger. She'd yeah. be like, you're fucking going to get locked up. <laughs> In your Power Rangers tracksuit. Yeah. I'm a Power Ranger. I'm a, I'm power, a power Ranger. Ranger. <laughs> no, Raj, you're autistic. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the same with Spider-Man, though. Whenever I look at Spider-Man, it's like, oh, I can't tell anyone my identity because my family will get killed. Your family has been dusted now. You know what yeah. I mean? Every one of their Uncle Ben's dead. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, but Gone. He's for, his, for his galley now, isn't it? Don't worry about that. I feel like most superheroes are a bit weird aren't they really if you think of it in terms of what they do with themselves yeah i love it whenever you see the tweets where it's Spider-Man like uh webs out if he's knocking one out nah imagine just sealing badges shut left and right but it is pretty weird why did they why do superheroes need to wear an outfit well the, i think the the, the 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 nerdy answer to this is um the idea of it was supposed to be that you only see just enough of their identity in the costume that when kids read it back in the day as comics, they could imagine themselves as the okay. superhero. Yeah, that that's the reason for like the spider. That's why when they <laughs> when they made a black Spider Man, Stan Lee before he died was like that was the whole point with Spider Man that he was the average New Yorker, so it could be anyone in there. Yeah, um, okay, because it would still oh, be pretty right. weird, wouldn't it, if you did have a superhero at school with you and. It's just like, you don't need to wear all this crazy shit. We know you've got a super. Well, well, Superman was the maddest one, isn't it? Because it was literally just, he took his glasses off. That was it. No one really battles for an Indian superhero, though, do they? What would what would an Indian superhero... What, right, what would his origin story be? Because yeah, you have to have an origin got story. they an Indian superhero, haven't they? Who? He's a guy in Street Fighter. He's not a superhero, is he? Well, he's pretty much a superhero, isn't he? Dal Sim? Yeah, it wouldn't He's fucking you. sick. He blows fire. He's got long... How is that not a superhero? Nah. Yeah, he's not a hero. If you, all right. He's a fighter. All right, so let's say, yeah, they I mean, introduce... Super. Let's say they introduce an Indian superhero to the Marvel Universe. Because yeah. it's coming, mate. I've seen the way Hollywood are going, mate. They're ruining everything. Yeah, so if they, yeah, if they introduce fuck. one, what yeah. would his origin story be? Yeah, or he's from the slums, isn't it? And yeah. He's, he's made it out. Yeah. yeah. What? We, how, right, where would his origin <laughs> he story be? Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> <laughs> all right so he's from the slums but how does he when you say he makes it out like yeah. do it do him what so he'd be blind first of all why <laughs> why? why he'd be blind and he'd have one arm yeah, he'd why? Be blind because the, in the slums they blinded him so he'd get more money okay yeah so now he's blind but like yeah he's what's that other film that lion is it lion 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 that lion's could be like film. a good origin story lion's actually his name okay lion so, so i'm liking the sound this this has got real if i was if i was an exec now and i'm in the room yeah. i'd be like that's quite good actually that's... obviously i'm working off the cuff here but yeah yeah but no it's good so he's blind he's blind because he's, yeah. he's got a tragic backstory now he was blinded when he was a kid so that yeah, he'd get more money begging on, on the street who streets. is he blinded yeah. by the his evil, evil uncle yeah. evil uncle what was the uncle's name Sukdev. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Uncle Sukdev. <laughs> no, I'm listening. We're cooking here, all right? So then he gets off. Apparently, what he did to Dev as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so how does he get the superpowers? How does he get the superpowers? Right. Well, <laughs> what we need to do is work out what his superpower is, mm. first of all. And there's already, bear in mind, there's already a blind superhero. There's already Daredevil. Yeah, but he needs to be different from Daredevil. Mm. Uh, so it, he's got uh, laser vision. He's got laser that shoot out so his he's, So he's Cyclops, Cyclops. from X-Men. <laughs> yeah, <he's> brown Cyclops. <laughs> Yeah, but, but he needs to have a better superpower than it's that. It's blue. It's not red. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we're 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 about to wrap up the pitch meeting here because we're going. Actually, we've got we've got a two p.m. So you've got to throw a hail mary here to get us back invested. Um, 
Right, okay, so what can he do? What can an Indian superhero do? Um, what would be a really good superpower for an Indian person? Well, I don't think Spider-Man's specifics are to do with him being white. It can be anything, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it could prick. be, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what could it be? Um, he He can... He's got strength. He can reboot a computer faster than the average. See, he went there. (laughs) He did. No, no, because I I was a Cyberman. IT man. (laughs) His special powers are just fishing attacks, bro. <laughs> no, uh, I was up in my IT department the other week and I said to Raj, I said, I know it's a stereotype, but your boys really are running shit up on this floor, mate. Yeah. Okay, so. He's got, he's and, got crazy strength. And can we also assume that Suckdev is the villain? Like he's gonna, he's got, he's got yeah. to get back at Suckdev for, for wronging him as a child. Yeah, but also, like, save people along the way. And he's got immaculate strength. Like, immaculate. <laughs> it's really it's from super it's like strength, strength to he? perfect. He doesn't strength. take no, he just per, do, yeah. he doesn't take any performance enhancers. <laughs> He's just got really clean, yeah. miraculous, uh, unbelievably strong. Um, okay, lion with his unbelievable. Lion. Okay. What does his costume look like? He doesn't. Uh, okay, so he wears like uh, I think Tarzan, right? Mm-hmm. But he's got a lion on his head. It's like scary spice. <laughs> he's like Mel B in yeah. the Spice Girls. Okay got a lion on his head okay yeah, but it's not like uh, it's like a helmet right so the... oh what so the blue lights like, so, like the fangs for... cover his blind eyes like the actors okay. in the west end <laughs> <laughs> and has he still got the blue lasers or did we scrap <laughs> Is he like? Is he like the actors in The Lion King on the West End? Yeah, like but one of those but, but They come right down, like they cover his blind eyes because you don't want to look at a superhero like. <laughs> <laughs> well, like he's just been jacked up. <laughs> Ray Charles. <laughs> I mean, so the fangs cover his eyes. His blind eyes. <laughs> Let's oh, keep it. Let's keep the emphasis on that. Yeah. Okay. How did we get on? <laughs> I think it was me. Oh yeah, and obviously he gets all the puss as well because he, gets, because he tells I mean, everyone that he's a superhero as yeah, well. Yeah, but obviously. Says, so do you want to see my immaculate strength? He doesn't know <laughs> if there are pengas or not. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true actually. And then obviously he's got a sidekick, isn't it? Mm, what does he do? What's his name? No, she. It's a she. What's her name? Um, Priya. Okay. Yeah, she's actually his carer. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? The cover. No. The cover is he just like gets wheeled around. No, because he can't dress himself, innit? So <laughs> Is that his superpower he can't dress himself? <laughs> he's got immaculate fashion sense somehow. Because he's got a stylist. Yeah. That's why. Fucking hell. Alright. Lovely. I've no idea. I've no idea how we got into that. Is well, really, I'm just saying there's no Indian though. superheroes and I think we've got to the bottom of why. Is mm. there any British superheroes? Yeah. James Bond. Oh no! Oh no! We're back where we started now. What? Because I, who did I mention? Who I said was a superhero, and you were like, "No, that's not a superhero." Oh, the Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah. James Bond, just the same. Do you know I'm what? The... I've just made this fucking harder. Look at that. Is there a British? What's his name that was in? Is one out of X Men? Nah. The Don... Oh, Venom. Yeah, but he's not in real life, is he? What? What Tom Harder? Yeah. Is this because all the comics are American, aren't they? So why yeah. would the other British ship? It would be like, you oh, know, it's Benedict is... Cumberbatch, Doctor Strange. Is he is he English? I don't know. I've, I've never read the comics or anything. No, I'm not. I'm not a weirdo. No, I just rather talk about it on a podcast instead. Yeah, true. I just want to play with this yo-yo again. Are you looking up if there's any British superheroes? Oh, I'm looking if there's any Indian. Banana Man. He's there's loads. Banana Man's not a superhero. He's British. He's from British comic books. Oh, he is actually. Oh, he's from the Beaner. Loads, lads. Blade. Blade's British. Blade is not British. Wesley Snipes is British. <laughs> Wesley Snipes is not British. Oh, Cap- look at this guy. This guy would scare the shit out of you, bro. Also, there's an Indian Spider Man. <laughs> Who's Shakti the fuck? Man? Look at what does Sha- Shakti Man? Please, please tell me what. Please tell me what Shakti Captain Man does. Midlands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Captain Midlands. Gang, gang. All right. So, what does he, he looks do? Pretty like brutal, to be fair. He looks like, he, in, <laughs> looks like he was born in. Looks like he's born in the pit. What does Captain Midlands do? One Captain of the... Midlands. Uh... And what does Shakti Man do? I want to know about that as well. Captain Midlands' abilities are enhanced to the peak of human potential 
expert martial artist and hand-to-hand combatant, all-terrain acrobatics, oh, yeah. master tactician and field commander, circular shield with anti-magic gloss. So basically, it's the role I'm born to play at some point. It's basically it? I can like do all a, of those things. It's like a B-Tech version of Captain America. Captain Midlands. <laughs> also, what, he had a shield that was... Re- repellent to, to magic it's got an anti-magic gloss on apparently mate I read an article earlier that was talking about how um, modern video games are trying to improve oh. weather systems in it and the person they quoted was somebody who studied um, weather patterns seismology and magic at a university in Canada this is <laughs> literally like, why have you just thrown that third one in it's Captain Midlands is a patriotic British war veteran and right-wing analogue of Captain America. So it's the role I'm born to play. <laughs> An 80-year-old brummy superhero. Yeah, yeah. And he, what, and he hates the foreigns. Captain Midland is a, often portrayed as a grumpy old git. Did you see the geezer that had the Tommy Robinson tattoo on his leg on Twitter the other week? Captain Midland. Captain Midland's got that, mate, <laughs> let me tell you. Captain Midland's got a Tommy Robinson tattoo because you can see the future. What can Shakti Man do? Shakti Man! That's how you got to say it. Okay. Ask me properly. What does uh? What are the powers that Shakti Man uh, holds? Uh, so Shakti Man is basically a, a blonde white girl called Becky <laughs> from Leeds. Shakti Man is among the most heroic characters in India. With his heroic powers through deep meditation, he is able. He is capable of activating chakras. Oh, so Shakti Man goes to Glastonbury every year? Okay. <laughs> Shakti, There's a few, man. There's Shakti, Man, Shakti Man's Jason's top customer for his crystal <laughs> empire. Freaky <Ricky> Man. <laughs> we got uh, Nagraj. Okay. What yeah. does he do? Nagraj. Oh, he uh, has... Uh, he can fly... He has the ability... Powers and abilities. Flight... Uh, tele- <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? It cuts off. Sorry, uh, I'll just move on to another one. Is it one of them? One of them Bollywood superheroes? Are they giving him everything? Yeah, he's yeah, just yeah. the best superhero like that's ever lived. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, looks cool. he can walk on water. He can eat yeah. fire. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, Captain, well, yeah. Captain Midlands wouldn't like him, well, but he's all right. This is another Brexit one. Oh my god! Who's that Brexit it's man? It's a Marvel comic. This is a Marvel comic one. What's he called? Fucking Union Jack. Jack. Union Jack. <laughs> What's his power? Protecting he statues. Protects statues. <laughs> No, he doesn't. Does he? Imagine. Imagine. Uh, That is mad, isn't it? Union Jack. Why why has this not been picked up on the far right? What does he do? Um, So, his alter ego is Lord Lord James Falsworth. And he's got affiliations with the British Army. The Union. Okay, just in general. The Union. Notable aliases. The might. A li- a li- aliases, notable aliases, the mighty destroyer, abilities, superb athlete, expert hand to hand combat, superior racist, no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> espionage training, skilled in the use of dagger and a handgun, and a huge navy. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? That green donny you just showed me. <laughs> Shut the stop in the tree. Fuck off. Let's have a look. Obviously, someone just taking the piss in it. Shakti, so Shakti man's huge in, in India. Yeah, it must be. He's just like your Superman, then, isn't it? What Shakti man? Well, what does that mean? Oh, Charles just Xavier. His name. Charles Xavier is British. Uh, of course, he is. Yeah, X Men done it. He's not a racist either. He's um, what's his superpower? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't be able to stand up for twelve hours on a flight. <laughs> <laughs> it's superpower is he has to sit next to people who smell superpower is he delays trains <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> I'm starving and I've just I've lost it I've lost the plot oh god fucking hell I love that the two British superheroes that you looked up are both just racist bigots <laughs> I'm drawn to it do you know I mean? for queen and country <laughs> for queen and country oh fucking hell we were, we were, we were going to talk about <laughs> oh got... no Shakti man got 3.1 on IMDb <laughs> just watch it anyway we're going to be it? like oh no Shakti man's got a sexual assault <laughs> <laughs> it's a 1993 film oh it's shit outed. what's the plot on IMDb the thing is right I think we are due an Indian superhero though seriously 
Just I'm gonna watch There's Shakti. There's one point four billion Indians, man. Shakti how's forever, man. Sh- how's there not a fucking? Do you know what I mean? I want to look up Shakti, man. When Vicky and Amar get switched at birth, one grows up to be a police officer and the other a murderer. Things take a turn when their parents learn the truth. Then they end up fucking each other. I think <laughs> this is the wrong Shakti, man. I've found the proper one. It's so long-winded, though. Oh no! This this is yeah. This isn't a superhero film at all. It sounds quite bleak. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say anything out loud. Never mind. I'll tell you later. Um. <laughs> oh, I found I found Shakti Man superhero program, nineteen ninety seven right. to two thousand and five. It ran. It got an eight point two. Oh, that's not bad. Oh. This is more promising. When what, what, da- when channel? when right. darkness gets strengthened to destroy the world. Um, uh, Suryan Shish chose Shakti Man in order to fight against the forces of evil. Shakti Man. And it says first Indian superhero in a five DVD pack. Oh, nice. There you go. It's, him, there you go. It's a TV now. show. Eight yeah. years that ran. 8.2. Exceptional memories of the first Indian superhero. Man, they loved it. They absolutely I mean, loved it. Been... Fucking hell, look at the villains. There's one. Catwoman. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just like fucking Catwoman. What the fuck Where's is this? Let see it, yeah, so, the, so there's, in, there's, there's Bollywood Catwoman, you know, pat, <laughs> patent pending. Um, this is this is the uh, episode of Shakti Man that was for the kids in school that was stay off drugs where he uh, he fought Weed Man. What the fuck is that? That's fucking Shrub Boy. That's old Greg That's off that Mighty Boosh. That scares people when they walk past it, it. This is Shakti Man in the dock for his sexual assault joke. <laughs> like he's carrying oh two carpets. Oh my god. Shakti Man. I don't swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth she consented. You know? <laughs> Shakti Man's in the shit, mate. Fucking hell. This is like the old... To be fair though, this is what the villains on Power Rangers look like what in the, the 90s. That's fucking... That's rough, man. <laughs> That's just a white bird that found herself in India. <laughs> I want to watch Shakti, man. I reckon we can That's find it somewhere. Yeah, there's got to be... I, I reckon if I do a quick search on... Uh, yeah, definitely uh, get it on Amazon. On Apple TV, it shows everything, right? Yeah. I bet, I bet you find it on like a, a website somewhere. Mate, he shoots fucking lasers out his hands. Yeah, he does He does home visits. He just oh, drops God, in. He's a, Look he's him. a real geezer. He just drops in for prayer, man. Oh no, there's no Shakti, man. There's Shaka King, though. Oh man, I like the look of this. <laughs> I reckon I could get on board with Surely this. Surely there's a Bollywood superhero film. I think this is the one of one, mate. Mm. Yeah, but you think that would be an area that Bollywood would have explored? Bollywood's got a pretty. Uh, or can you it, not do? Is that like a no, not, you, not a thing? It's, it, a, it's clearly a thing. They've got it. But... It's got it's got a pretty well. Um, I don't know. Maybe we're just not in touch with it. I just think there should be one in Hollywood. It's got. It's well, got. It's got the a pretty, hour. Come with the man. There's a pretty solid formula for Bollywood, isn't it? Superhero. I reckon you could. You should. You should definitely create it. Yeah. No, I could be it. Yeah, I mean, don't see why not. Yeah. yeah. You can give it a go. You have to have a romantic interest though, because that's the crux of every Bollywood feature. Yeah. There has to be some sort of love interest. I'll be modern as well. I'll be Shakti person. And you'd have to do songs, obviously. Yeah. That would be my theme. Well, I've seen okay. you moves before, haven't I? So. Have you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have. Uh, right. Well, this up. has been fun since we will end there on the dance moves. What a yeah, Christmas about, episode. That was Christmas. Festive. Merry Christmas, you fucking filthy animals. Yeah, watch Shakti Man on Christmas Day. Hold tight, Shakti Man. I wonder if he's still alive. Hold tight, Union Jack. Yeah, keep fighting the good fight, Union Jack, and, and um, obviously, you know. <laughs> Me and Jason will be back home, spreading the good word about Captain Midlands. But uh, yeah, nice one. Um, have, have a good Christmas. Uh, ta Peace. Peace. This has been the Word on the Streets. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.